Who is it? Nice trick. Who were they then? Students? Is this a student thing or what? Why would there be students? I don't know. Well, you said it. Why students? Because to get that many people dressed up and being silly, they got to be students. That makes sense. Well done. Thanks. They're not students. Whoever they are, when Wilson finds them, he's going to call the police. Who's Wilson? Chief electrician. Wilson's dead. That's just not funny. That's sick. Hold on. Mind your eyes. I've had enough of this now. <laughs> Who are you then? Who's that lot down there? I said, who are they? They're made of plastic, living plastic creatures. And they're being controlled by a relay device in the room, which would be a great big problem if I didn't have this. So, I'm gonna go upstairs and blow it up. And I might well die in the process, but don't worry about me, no. You go on, go on, go and have your lovely beans on toast. Don't tell anyone about this, because if you do, you'll get them killed. I'm the doctor, by the way, what's your name? Rose. Nice to meet you, Rose. Run for your life! Consciousness? Easy. You were useless in there. You'd be dead if it wasn't for me. Yes, I would. Thank you. Right then, I'll be off. Unless, uh, I don't know, you could come with me. This box isn't just a London op, you know, it goes anywhere in the universe, free of charge. Don't. He's an alien, he's, he's a thing. He's not invited. What do you think? You could stay here, fill your life with work and food and sleep, or you could go uh, anywhere. Is it always this dangerous? Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I've, um, I've got to go and find my mum, and someone's got to look after this stupid lamp. So. OK. See you around. Let's go. Come on. 
It also travels in time. Thanks. Thanks for what? Exactly. gonna vent through this place. I know. Jabe, you're made of wood. Then stop wasting time. Time, Lord. Heat levels rising. Heat levels rising. This unit now closing down for maintenance. The end of the app is gone. We were too busy saving ourselves, no one saw it go. All those years. 
all that history and no one was even looking. It's just... Come with me. forever. People and cars and concrete. But it won't. For one day it's all gone. Even the sky. My planet's gone. It's dead. It burned like the Earth. It's just rocks and dust. It's time. What happened? There was a war and we lost. A war with who? <clears throat> what about your people? I'm a Time Lord. I'm the last of the Time Lords. They're all gone. I'm the only survivor. I'm left travelling on my own, because there's no-one else. There's me. You've seen how dangerous it is. Do you want to go home? I don't know. I want... Oh, you need some chips? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want chips. Me too. Right then, before you get me back in that box, chips it is and you can pay. No money. What sort of date are you? Come on then, tightwad, chips are on me. I've only got five billion years till the shops close. <laughs> isn't a straight line. It can twist into any shape. You can be born in the 20th century and die in the 19th, and it's all my fault. I brought you here. It's not your fault. I wanted to come. What about me? I saw the fall of Troy, World War V. I pushed boxes at the Boston Tea Party. Now I'm gonna die in a dungeon. In Cardiff. It's not just dying. It's gonna become one of them. Suck them into the air like poison from a wound. I hope. Oh, Lord. I hope that this theory will be validated soon, if not immediately. Fancy more!
Lias. Look at me. If your mother and father could look down and see this, they'd tell you the same. They'd give you the strength. Now send them back. I can't breathe. Charles, get her out. I'm not leaving her. They're too strong. Remember that world you saw? Rose's world, all those people. None of it will exist unless you send them back through the rift. I can't send them back. But I can hold them. Hold them in this place. Hold them here. Get out. You can't! Leave this place! Rose, get out! Go now! I won't leave her while she's still in danger! Now go! Come on, leave that to me. This way! I'm masking. It's gonna kill us. Got to be some way of stopping them. You're supposed to be the expert. Think of something. I'm trying. I'll take it on, Jackie. You just run. Don't look back. Just run. That's my mother. Right. If we're gonna find their weakness, we need to find out where they're from. Which planet? So, judging by their basic shape, that narrows it down to 5,000 planets within travelling distance. What else do we know about them? Information. They're green. Yep, narrows it down. A good sense of smell. Narrows it down. They can smell adrenaline. Narrows it down. The pig technology. Narrows it down. The spaceship in the Thames use a slipstream engine. Narrows it down. It's getting in. Oh, they hunt like it's a ritual. Narrows it down. Wait a minute. Did you notice? When they fart, if you'll pardon the word, it doesn't just smell like a fart, if you'll pardon the word. It's something else. What is it? It's oh. more like, um, bad breath. That's it! Calcium decay. Now that narrows it down. We're getting there, Mum. Too late! Calcium phosphate, organic calcium, living calcium, creatures made out of living calcium. What else? What else? Hyphenated sodium. Yes! That narrows it down to one planet. Raxicorico Phalopatorius! Oh, yeah, great. We could write him a letter. Get into the kitchen! Uh, uh. We can buy the compression pill. Acetic acid. Vinegar. Just like Hannibal. Just like Hannibal. Mickey, have you got any vinegar? I'll show you now. It's your kitchen. Cover by the sink, middle shelf. Oh, here. What do you need? Anything with vinegar. Durkin! Yeah, pickled onion! Pickled eggs! You kiss this man? in your hands. Fire. Solid enough, built for short-range attack. Nothing this big. All right. Now I'm making the decision. I'm not going to die. We're going to ride this one out. It's like what they say about earthquakes. We can survive them by standing under a door frame. Now, this cupboard's small, so it's strong. Come and help me. Come on. The vote is in. The council says yes. 
They are releasing the codes. Bring the time, yo. It's on radar. Counter defense 556. Stop them intercepting it. I'm doing it now. Good boy. 556 neutralized. What do you mean, incoming? Jones, MP Flydale North, I want you to contact the UN immediately. Tell the ambassadors the crisis is over. They can step down. Go on, tell the news. Yes, ma'am. Someone's got a hell of a job sorting this lot out. Oh, Lord, we haven't even got a prime minister. Well, maybe you should have a go. Me? <laughs> I'm only a backbencher. I'd vote for you. Now, don't be silly. Look, I'd better go and see if I can help. Hang on! Come to help, and the doctor. Da, da. Impossible. The doctor. Exterminate! 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 Sir, it's going to kill him. It's talking. It's not working. <laughs> fantastic! Oh, fantastic! Powerless! Look at you. The great space dustbin. How does it feel? Be back! What for? What are you going to do to me? If you can't kill, then what are you good for, Dalek? What's the point of you? You're nothing! What the hell are you here for? I am waiting for orders! What does that mean? I am a soldier! I was bred to receive orders! Well, you're never gonna get any. Not ever. I demand orders! They're never gonna come! Your race is dead! You all burn, all of you, 10 million ships on fire, the entire Dalek race wiped out in one second. You lie! I watched it happen. I made it happen! You destroyed us! I had no choice. And what of the time, Lords? Dead. They burn with you. 
the end of the last great time war. Everyone lost. And the coward survived. Oh, and I caught your little signal. Help me, poor little thing. But there's no one else coming because there's no one else left. I am alone in the universe. Yep. So are you. We are the same. We're not the same, I'm not. No, wait. Maybe we are. But you're right, yeah, okay. You've got a point. Because I know what to do. I know what should happen. I know what you deserve. Exterminate. Why should I? You never did. Get him out. I saved your life now. Talk to me. God damn it, talk to me. You've got to destroy it. The last in the universe. From now I know your name. Dalek. Speak to me, Dalek. I am Henry Van Staten. Now recognize me. Make it talk again, Simmons. Whatever it takes. When time gets sorted out... Everybody here forgets what happened. And don't worry. The thing that you change will stay changed. You mean I'll still be alive? Though I'm meant to be dead. That's why I haven't done anything with my life. Why I didn't mean anything. It doesn't work like that. Rubbish. I was so useless I couldn't even die properly. Now it's my fault all this has happened. This is my fault. No, love. I'm your dad. It's my job for it to be my fault. Her dad? How are you her dad? How old were you? Twelve? Oh, that's disgusting. Jax, listen. This is Rose. Rose? How sick is that? She's given my daughter a second-hand name. How many are there? She called them all Rose. Oh, for God's sake, look, it's the same Rose. Rose, no! I'm the oldest thing in here. Never easy being the only child left out in the cold, you know. I suppose you'd know. I do, actually, yes. It's not exactly a child. Mommy! Everybody out across the back garden under the fence. Now, go, move! Come on! Come on, baby, we've got to go, all right? It's just like a game, just like chasing. Take your coat, go on. Go! Mommy! Mommy, please let me in, Mommy. Please 
Please let me in, Mommy. You all right? Please let me in. You mustn't let him touch you. What happens if he touches me? He'll make you like him. And what's he like? I've got to go. Nancy, what's he like? He's empty. It's him. He can make phones ring, he can. Just like with that police box you saw. here. Nobody here but us chickens. Well, this chicken. I'm scared. Why are those other children frightened of you? Please let me in, Mummy. I'm scared of the bombs. OK. I'm opening the door now. of the human race is in your hands. Trust me and tell him. Are you my mummy? Are you my mummy? Are you my mummy? Yes. Yes, I am your mummy. Mummy? I'm here. Are you my mummy? He doesn't understand. There's not enough of him left. I am your mummy. I will always be your mummy. I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. What's happened here? Don't you change no wish. Come on, please. Come on, you clever little Nana Jeans, figure it out. The mother, she's the mother. It's got to be enough information, figure it out. What's happening? See? Recognising the same DNA. Oh, come on. Give me a day like this. Give me this one. Jeans recognize the superior information, the pair of DNA. They didn't change you because you changed them. <laughs> Mother knows best. Doctor, that bomb. Taking care of it. How? Psychology. I put in stasis, but it won't last long. Change your plan. Don't need the bomb. Can you get rid of it? Safely as you can. Rose. Yeah? Goodbye. <laughs> By the way, love the t-shirt. Software patch. Gonna email the upgrade. You want moves, Rose? I'll give you moves. Everybody lives, Rose. 
just this once. Everybody lives! Jack Harkness, by the way. I'm Davich Pavel. Nice to meet you, Davich Pavel. There's a time and a place. Are you saying that this whole setup's been a disguise all along? Going way back, installing the Jagrafess a hundred years ago. Someone's been playing a long game, controlling the human race from behind the scenes for generations. Click on this. The transmat delivers to that point, right on the edge of the solar system. There's nothing there. It looks like nothing, because that's what this satellite does. Underneath the transmission, there's another signal. Doing what? Hiding whatever's out there. Hiding it from sonar, radar, scanner. There's something sitting right on top of planet Earth, but it's completely invisible. If I cancel the signal... Ships. 
they were destroyed. Obviously, they survived. Who did? Who are they? 200 ships. More than 2,000 on board each one. That's just about half a million of them. Half a million what? Daleks. Alert! Alert! We are detected! It is the Doctor! He has located us! Open communications channel! The female will stand! Stand! I will talk to the Doctor! Oh, will you? That's nice. Hello. The Dalek stratagem nears completion. The fleet is almost ready. You will not intervene. Oh, really? Why is that then? We have your associate. You will obey or she will be exterminated. No. said no. What is the meaning of this negative? It means no. But she will be destroyed. No. Because this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to rescue her. I'm going to save Rose Tyler from the middle of the Dalek fleet. And then I'm going to save the Earth. And then, just to finish off, I'm going to wipe every last stinking Dalek out of the sky. But you have no weapons, no defenses, no plan. Yeah. And doesn't that scare you to death? Rose? Yes, Doctor? I'm coming to get you. The Doctor is initiating hostile action! Master to jump! Master advance! Begin the invasion of Earth! The Doctor will be exterminated! Exterminated! If I'm very clever, and I'm more than clever, I'm brilliant, I might just save the world. I'll rip that apart. I'll go for the first one. Me too. Now, just got to go and power up the game station. Hold on! is activated then it can only mean one thing we must be in danger and i mean fatal i'm dead or about to die any second with no chance of escape no. and that's okay hope it's a good death but i promise to look after you and that's what i'm doing the tardis is taking you home i won't let you and i bet you're fussing and moaning now typical but hold on and just listen a bit more the tardis can never return for me emergency program one means i'm facing an enemy that should never get their hands on this machine so this is what you should do. Let the TARDIS die. Just let this old box gather dust. No one can open it, no one will even notice it. Let it become a strange little thing standing on a street corner. And over the years, the world will move on and the box will be buried. And if you want to remember me, then you can do one thing. That's all, one thing. Have a good life. Do that for me, Rose. Have a fantastic life. You can't do this to me. You can't! Take me back! Take me back!
I knew it. I was all the way down Clifton Parade and I heard the engines. I thought there's only one thing that makes a noise like that. What is it? What happened? Don't you remember? It's like... There was a singing. That's right. I sang a song and the Daleks ran away. I was at home. No, I wasn't. I, I was in the TARDIS and... Uh, there was this light and... I can't remember anything else. Rose Tyler. I was going to take you to so many places. Barcelona, not the city Barcelona, the planet Barcelona. You'd love it. Fantastic place. They've got dogs with no noses. <laughs> Imagine how many times a day you end up telling that joke, and it's still funny. Then why can't we go? Maybe you will, and maybe I will, but not like this. You're not making sense. I might never make sense again. I might have two heads or no head. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine me with no head. And don't say that's an improvement. But it's a bit dodgy, this process. You never know what you're gonna end up with. <laughs> Doctor! Stay away! Doctor, tell me what's going on. I absorbed all the energy of the time vortex, and no one's meant to do that. <clears throat> Every cell in my body's dying. Why can't you do something? Yeah, I'm doing it now. Time Lords have this little trick. It's sort of a way of cheating death. Except... It means I'm gonna change. And I'm not gonna see you again. Not like this. Not with this daft old face. And before I go... Don't say that. Rose. Before I go, I just want to tell you, you were fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And you know what? So was I. So where was I? Oh, that's right. Barcelona. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.